Gamer Brett, welcome back to my channel. We are back with our decades challenge and I'm super duper excited about this. So we had a little bit of issue. Uh, if you heard about the Sims Groundhog Day, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I went into play <laughs> and the game didn't save. <laughs> so then I had to redo the day and then uh, my, <laughs> my, my, myself um, was playing and I got caught up in all of that and then went to record again and um, I forgot to save the game. Okay, uh, I forgot to hit record. So then I just exited out, not realizing I didn't save the day or save the game. So I've had to play this same day like for three times now on The Sims. So that's we, where we are at. So I had Arthur upgrade the bathroom um, just for out of, you know, um, easier just to do feel the day <laughs> and to fill some time let's be honest okay so martha is still sleeping arthur is doing his own thing so i have an interesting dynamic that i want to do here we already know annabelle's pregnant look at her and her cute little little baby well baby or babies i'm not entirely sure but she's already there and we're gonna have her go out and we'll have you pick that up and throw everything away have her start the chores early this day because, you know, you got to get up in that morning, morning time. So I already deleted, um, everything that was in the guys, everyone, everything that was in everyone's inventory and took care of it all. Um, that's also how we came up with all of our Somalians also deleted their Christmas presents. They were like TVs, computers, sketch pads, all of that. Peanut has aged up, which is awesome. Look at Peanut. Look at her. Isn't she so cute? So, there I have an interesting uh, love triangle that I have decided that we're going to play with. Okay. So, I've decided that instead of having Martha go after Paul, Martha and Arthur are going to get together. And Annabelle is not going to know. Annabelle is not going to be any wiser. She's pregnant, having her baby. And Arthur and Annabelle, or um, Martha, are going to work on their chemistry together. And, you know, build up that relationship. And no one is going to be any wiser. Mom's just going to sit there and dance while they sit there and flirt because, you know, that that's not weird having your mother sit there while you flirt with your brother-in-law. And mother has no idea. Okay, you know, to, to each their own, to each their own, I guess. Okay, so we're going to discuss our fears. Then let's also come in here, have romantic, have our first kiss. We got to slowly keep building... Now, I'm starting this relationship sooner because I've been playing the relationship, like, multiple times. So, we are just going to get it done right off the bat. I'll see your first kiss. Let's romantic compliment his appearance. Let's ask him if he's single. Romantic, uh, ask a risque question. Flirt. We're having our first kiss because, you know, it's not weird while my mother witnesses, witnesses it and says nothing. So we're going to just sit here and we're flirting. And our sister, who's very pregnant, by the way, is outside taking care of the farm. It's her job. She has been so busy cleaning the chicken coops and taking care of the farm that Arthur feels neglected. Arthur is just like, I married you. As my wife, you're supposed to give me certain expectations. You are not. So, in return, I'm now going to come after your sister. And she's just, she's loving every single second of this. Because, you know, she's, she doesn't see herself having her own family. And she tried working with Paul and her and Paul just weren't together and so she just decided there's been some connection between her and Arthur and that they love spending time with each other 
and that she just wants her sister's husband, essentially. So try for a baby. Let's do it. Oh, wait, we can't do it because I, no, I saw that last time. Um, as much as I love having this plant here for, like, whatever reason, the plant doesn't, like, work. So, more choices. Try for a baby at that either. Okay, so we're going to have the two of them, you know, do their own thing. Enjoy their time together. See what happens. Annabelle is out here, like I said, doing her job, essentially. Taking care of the family. For making sure everyone has the food that they need, the lifestyle that they need. Like, she's out here working her literal pregnant butt off. How long until we have these babies? Third trimester literally starts in hours. And her husband is up here oh my gosh we have weird issues to see in her dress but literally brother is up here sleeping with her sister and they have no problems about it she is totally okay she doesn't feel guilty she's like i know my sister and i are close but at the same time like this is what she gets you you know you didn't take care of your husband so, that's our interesting love dy dynamic that we have going on right now. And then, let's play with Peanut. Pet Peanut. Let's offer a friendship. And, let's see. Pet care. Let's go for a jog with Peanut. He's just like, you know... Martha, I just feel like I could talk to you for hours. You're just... You have that working girl lifestyle go-getter attitude that I need in someone like you're not afraid to go after what you want and literally sister is down here drinking a cup of milk before the baby gets here part of me feels bad part of me doesn't feel bad like that's what happens you don't take care of your husband um, that actually should not be what happens when you take care of your husband, um, or should not happen or should I, okay. It shouldn't happen regardless if you take care of your husband or not. There you go. That's what I was trying to say. Um, <laughs> I don't know why that was so challenging for me to say that, but, uh, for whatever reason it was. Okay. So we'll just weed all because she seems to be like running on low. So he's super duper happy. Let's come take care of your your needs for a minute. Um, I do need to put the Christmas tree in our inventory. I'll just sell the plant because I don't really seeing us. Come on. Well, I guess technically we can leave it there. We'll, we'll put it right there. So mother is working, Annabelle is working, Arthur, we're taking care of his needs, and she's now taking care of Peanut. Fantastic. So I, like I said, had a lot of time, a lot of time to think about Arthur and Mary, because I was originally thinking like, okay, well we need to get rid of Mary, like it's time for her to move on and get out of the house and marry Philip, and then everything like went disastrously with Philip the last time we talked with him. So I'm like, ooh, that might not be a good relationship. Even though she's like really physically attracted to Philip. It just, for whatever reason, they didn't have their chemistry like her and Arthur. And I want to play Arthur as the bad guy. So he is going to be mischievous to the mother-in-law. Like he's obviously rude to Annabelle because he's sleeping with his sister or with her sister. He's going to be a little bit rude to um, Margaret as well, but not enough because he's decided he was forced to marry Annabelle. He didn't have a say in it. His parents arranged the marriage. It's not what he wanted. And after some serious thinking, essentially, he's just decided, why? I'm not 
just looking down here and this rug is different than the rug I originally had. So I think I lost some CC as I'm like literally telling you this man's life story. I get distracted by blue rugs. Um, I know I'm awful. My squirrel, seriously. Um, but no, he was forced to marry Annabelle. He didn't want to marry Annabelle. He was not close to Annabelle at all, yet he did what was expected of him. And, you know, he's the loving son. He was not going to tell his parents no. At the same time, it's not what he wanted. And he's now realized what he wants really matters. And him and Martha uh, really get along together. So... Right here, go for a drug. So because they are really, they are really well matched, essentially, because, you know, he's still the bad guy. He's still, you know, a jerk, essentially, in my book. Um, but at the same time, you know, he's the man from the 1820s. So, but she tries her very best and she just is like, hey, Arthur, like, how's it going? You know, the baby's coming. Fresh sniff, fresh clothing. I'll show the big news. You know, I just, I can't wait. How exciting. We're getting ready to start our own family. And I just, I can't believe it. Like, we're here. We're coming full circle. Like, I'm so excited. Uh -huh. Death is inevitable. What? 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 Arthur doesn't know that. Arthur oh, knows yeah. that. Arthur oh, just didn't think that he would be thinking oh, about yeah. it so soon. Wait, are you thinking you're dying? There is still so much to do. How will Arthur get everything done if death is just around the corner? What? Is it starting? Is it safer to just hide forever? What the? That's not Arthur. This is Arthur. Okay, well, it's still showing me 14 days until we become an adult. Seasonal affective disorder. Let's see, it's sad. Oh, it's feeling sad uh fear of dead end job fear of unfulfilled dreams fear of death fear of death that's a new th that's seriously a thing okay well um i didn't even realize that was the thing so what i want to do i want to have you go for a jog get some of your fears taken care of because like you have three fears and i feel like that is like way way too many Okay, so you're done. You're taking care of that. We got our dog. Where's Peanut? Peanut is back in the house. She's slowly making her way now. Arthur can now leave. Oh, we're in our third trimester already. Okay, so mother... Essentially, is there anything we can have her do? Search pockets. Do some laundry because... Why not... I can also have you come fertilize the crops because you have fertilizer. Okay. But I think everyone and everything is kind of good. I think we're actually finally like in a good place. Okay. So Annabelle scavenge for the parts just so we can get them, throw that away. Okay. She is not happy. Go potty, girl. And you have work that starts in one hour? Oh my god. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you had work in an hour. My bad. My bad. Don't don't kill me. We'll have you take a bath. Not a bubble bath, because that way you won't go too long. But we'll have you take a bath. Okay. You're out there finishing that. He's in here. Okay. So let's just have you two... Share happiness about our wedding day. Be like, look, Arthur, like, I understand that we haven't spent a lot of time together. And, you know, I, I feel a little bad. I've been trying to run the farm because, you know, Christmas time is, you know, or Winterfest is such a hard time that, you know, I do feel a little guilty. But, you know, our, our child is going to be here soon. And, you know, I just, I'm so excited. And I'm so happy that you're my husband. And... You know, I do, I do really care about you, and I know we were forced into this, but, like, I just, I want you to know that over the past few months that we've been actually married together, I, I 
just enjoy spending time with you. I, I totally get you. And I think I feel myself every day just slowly starting to love you. And he's like, oh, you love me. And why are you on your phone, Arthur? And he's like, yeah, uh, you know, I, I feel like I love you. She, he's like, okay, well, I, I, I can understand, understand that. Okay, so how do we get rid of this one? I figured out how to get rid of the fear of the dreams. How do we get rid of fear of dead end job? See, now that one's gone. Okay. Annabelle's like, look, I know we've been a little bit distant, but I want to do my wifely duties, and I want to be there for you. And he's just like, well, yeah, you know, definitely I, I, my needs need to be filled, and I'm not going to complain if for you to fill them. Oops. Oh, they went to hit. Is that laundry down? Hang on clothesline. Yeah, they're still soaked because it's winter time, or raining time. Okay. Got you. Let's replace the water. Fill the dog food. I think. That's about it. If I can think of anything else. Throw away. We're not going to mop the outside. Martha finished attack sooner than expected what she should do. Research arch arch let's research some arch. Arch. Art. Martha finds something interesting um, artwork and orders it to decorate the office. Everyone appreciates the mood boost. The art gives the office. We get a small performance boost. Awesome. Which where are we at with our career? Okay, we're almost promoted. So we may or may not get promoted today, which will be nice. He just got promoted, if I remember correctly. So we're working on him, which you don't need to nap, dude. Just, like, actually go to sleep. What is it? Pillow fight with Mary? <laughs> okay, so... Collect the eggs. Collect the eggs. There's not any... Beat the beetles. Beat the crickets. Refill the feed. Okay, and then we can go upstairs and bathe Penny because, like, Penny's now getting into everything. Okay. Ba oh, Peanut. I said Penny, but Peanut. Okay, and he has work in one hour. How late is it? 7 o'clock at night and everyone's sleeping. <laughs> like, look at them. Sometimes I hate them together, and then other times I'm like, oh, your, your Z's are in the way. I'm like, you're really cute. And then other times I'm like, he's evil. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Zasone. Come on, Penny. Peanut. I should just change your name to paint Penny. Really what I should do right now. Has to go potty. Okay, so how do we... He's confident. So with him going to work confident... Is there... Make connections. Suck up to boss. Smoosh with the boss. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So let's see. She's all good. I'll have her take a bath because why not get her caught up on all of her needs. Ooh, you need to go potty. Uh, he's pretty good and she's pretty good. So I think we're good. She's like, I have to pee, but my mom's in the bath. Mom's like, it's okay, honey. I'll get out. It's more important that you, you know, you pee. I want you to make sure you take care of those grandbabies of mine. Oh, is our dog sick? Maybe not. Who are you? Margaret? Send home. Take back resident key first off. And sleep. Because, you know, that's not weird and creepy at all. 
We got promoted to mixologist. We now make an additional ten dollars per hour for a grand total of thirty-eight hours or thirty-eight hours, thirty-eight dollars an hour. We got five fifteen in our bonus and a kitchen sink. Mm. Okay, well there we go. So let's throw that away and get some leftovers because why not? Let's have you clean up all the hair pile. Like, throw, oh, she got that? Okay, well, here. Clean up all of these hair piles. Because that's kind of gross. Okay. Why are you walking outside when there's a garbage right there in your kitchen? I don't understand you. Like, I don't. Is she going upstairs to sleep? She is. She's like, I am thoroughly exhausted and I had a long day and time for me to sleep okay so she's like I'm doing my nightly check making sure all of our chores are done before we can go upstairs ourselves and enjoy an evening of course Penny you're already dirty again of course like why wouldn't you be oh your husband needs to fix the toilet and he is at work so um, I'm just gonna have you go to sleep and I'm gonna pray that when he gets home he's not too exhausted and we'll uh have them repair the toilet so yeah he had 144 simoleons today nice do we hi cat i know you need to pee well your husband's working on it do we get rid of it no we still have fear of dead end job and fear of death i don't know how to get rid of those hi cat how are you hi jojo's oh your tail just hit me in the face okay I know, she's gonna like pee her pants at this rate. Yep. Cue the accident. I felt like that was going to happen. He's like, I had a long day at work. I need a drink. Drink and some good food. Downside, your wife is vegetarian, so you don't get very good food. I'm just kidding. <sighs> oh, the poor joke. That was a poor joke. Okay, so Martha is sleeping. Peanut is sleeping on the couch. My cat is literally in my way, so I can't see if anything needs to be cleaned, which we do. We need to mop. Sorry, I'm looking over here because my cat is literally sitting on my hand. Okay, so if there's sudden movements, I swear it's not me. It's the cat. Okay. So he, he's just he's tired. So when he's done, have him use the bathroom, take a bubble bath, go to sleep. So, because Annabelle's good, mother's eating, and then I'll send her off to do some chores. Hi-ho, hi-ho, off to work we go. Hi-ho, hi-ho, hi-ho. Okay, I'm clean the coop, love the eggs, there's plenty of food out. Uh, collect the beeswax, collect the beeswax, and your stuff is full, so there you go. Okay, so can we do laundry in the wash tub? Have you work on, why is it always raining? Okay, so mother has all of this taken care of, like beetle nuggets. Let's weed all and spray for bugs. So you'll be kept busy. You're going to be kept busy. Oh my god. Okay, you're busy. You gotta pee. Let's have you pee. You need fun. Okay, well, let's take a bubble bath first. Um, and then we'll ask Penny to go potty and then. Go for a jog with Penny. Okay. <laughs> Fertilize. And then uh, you can come fertilize this one because you have a bunch of fertilizer in your inventory. And then clean, give a treat, my cat is right there, it's too fishy, 
and not send in and milk and then clean and treat we'll do healthy treat for this one and share her wool okay um i want to say that's kind of everything right now we gotta harvest those so we missed something there we go okay new year's eve tomorrow awesome she taking penny for a run oh we're asking penny to go potty he's sleeping okay i think everything is basically good and caught up on which is great i gotta go in and delete some stuff out of our inventory but other than that we don't spoil food okay clean clean look at her walking her dog well technically jogging with her dog we got this girl let's run in heels Hi ho, hi ho, we can go, we can go. I think I can, I think I can. Let's go, let's go. Okay, the cat has officially moved. Annabelle has gone into labor. No way, Jose. Okay, well, you have to have your baby at home because that's the time you didn't go to a hospital for your baby. So. If I remember correctly, I think I have some cute, a cute bassinet that would work with this time period. This is the toddler bed. Right here. I don't know if I downloaded the invisible basin bin, though. That might have been a problem. I just realized that. Uh, that's fine. We can just... I don't need just CC filter items packs. There was one that came with the werewolf pack that would work. Show all items. Get rid of the filter. Object by function, all. Okay. Here. I think that will work. Or do we just want... I don't even know. I feel like I'm all over the place now because I don't know if that's going to work as a crib. Here, let's do this one. I like this one. No idea where it's going to fit in this parent's room. Here we can just put their laundry basket in inventory for right now. And then, is that going to give them enough room to walk in? Yeah, it should give them enough room. Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> Go upstairs and have your baby. Come on, girl. You got this. You got this. Can you see Arthur in the back or freaking out? You got this. Breathe, girl. <laughs> like, we just gave birth to a boy. Um, Arnold. I like Arnold. And it's Arthur, so it's kind of falling into play. And that actually works at the time period. Okay, Annabelle just gave birth to a baby boy. This baby needs a name. What would you like to call him? Arnold Walter. Oh, look at you. Isn't you adorable? Oh, why is not my little... Why is my baby CC not working? Okay, well, why don't you breastfeed and bounce and coo, 
cuddle, make a base, and rock. She comes up and she's like, romantic, more choices, wrist kiss. She's like, congrats dad on the new baby. Can I call you daddy now? Okay, that's actually really inappropriate. Really inappropriate. I just realized that. Just 100% realized that. So now they're going to go try for a baby. She's like, I'm so happy for my sister, but now I feel like my arms are empty and I never wanted a child, but now I feel like I should have one. And he's like, okay, don't worry. I got you. She's like, really? He goes, yeah. He goes, I love you. I'm happy to have a baby with you. She's like, oh, Arthur. Okay, and then have you go to sleep. And then... All of those are still there. She's like, I'm a grandma. I'm so happy I could cry. Make sure everything is good. Look at all the little hearts over there. When the stalls are rocking, don't don't come a knocking. Oh, you know what? She's she's like, I gotta sit here and work on crocheting a new thing for my grandbaby. Let's see, what are we knitting? Knit clothing. Um, oh, knit beanie because we can't, I guess, do anything else. Um, so let's do a white tiger beanie since it's a boy. Why can't you do that? Knit. Let's work on our white tiger beanie. Okay. And then we have eggs to sell. We can sell some bee wax and some milk. I think that's kind of like all the stuff. And put that in her inventory. That in Arthur's inventory. That in Arthur's inventory. Okay, so I think we're kind of good there. You can sell your eggs. And let's do that. Get you some more simoleons. So that we don't have to work. Okay. I think everyone is kind of on their tracks. Everyone is being taken care of. Um, you know, we're slowly... Slowly but surely... Getting our way there. Quest a song... Rush. Judith Ward is here. Hey, I got a special gift for you because I was in town. Um, sure. Hold on, dog. Judith Ward is here. Let's see what Judith wants. I'm curious what this special gift is. What did we get? What did we get? What did we get? What is it? One starter flowers? Interesting. No. You don't worry about the baby. Your sister will have the baby. Okay, we'll play with you. We'll brush you. Um, and then we'll talk to you. And we'll give you a treat. And let's go give you a bath. Love you, wake up. Change the diaper. Now, Grandma, don't you help. Well, you can, but not right now. So I'll just have you use. Wash your hands. Father's like, hey, Judith Ward, how's it going? Just kidding. I don't even know what to do with him. Like, no clues whatsoever. He needs a mischief interaction. So, you know what I can do? Mom's not doing anything. Um, I'll have him come be mischievous to Grandma. So, well, let's see. Mischievous. Well, let's pickpocket you because why not? And lie about our career. Invite to a fake party. I'm telling you. He's like, I don't like you. She's like, I don't like you. You know, he's like, you, this is my house now. And you don't have a say. And she goes, this isn't your house. My precious husband built this house with his two hands. And he gave us everything. He goes, yeah, but he's not here anymore. Now I'm the man of the house. And I'm going to do whatever I want. And with that, it is time for us to say goodbye. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye, you guys.